Ladies and gentlemen, when I welcome the bride and groom to come into the hall, I need everybody to stand up. Permit me to welcome the two people responsible for this wonderful occasion. A round of applause for Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Can we give them a round of applause? Yeah, thank you, bitch. In the 60s and 70s, our parents, they had it easy. It was cheap. Dating a woman was cheap. What do you want? You back then, you used to be point and kill. You tell, the man will tell his father, the father will go and tell her father, her father will tell her. It was an instruction. Marry him. Okay. Now, it's so expensive. And I tell people most times, for all the men, they have a bachelor. If you meet a girl, that does not have a phone and you're asking her and you're like can I have your number oh I don't have a phone wrong because that means from that be from the beginning you're the one buying the phone to start with <laughs> if you meet a girl that has not normal natural hair low cut and you're asking her out no that you're the one buying that Brazilian hair <laughs> so I tell people most times wake up for the men here, if you want to save money, because right now Brazilian hair is the in thing. Am I lying? You hear money in Nigeria, they sell it, it's more expensive in Nigeria. You see hair, they'll be selling hair, 250,000 naira. Now, plot of land. And the way guys they open their mouth, and then a Brazilian hair, the guy go, 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 go buy. And girls, I don't know why you people do these things. You people put Brazilian hair, all these things for men. I've never seen two guys in the club or at a party and a girl with a Brazilian hair walks in and the guy will tell his friend, oh boy, Tony, 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 look, 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 look. See that girl hair, oh boy. That girl hair is hot. <laughs> Nothing. Let me tell you, all the women here, men, you see from your neck up, we need a look. Now from your neck down, now with a look, except you won't put Brazilian hair for waist. You will notice that. But if now up you they are wasting your time. There's only one man I can actually do this. I've never seen it happen before. A man that decides to use uh, wedding vows 11 years after. Not like anything was happening, but he just felt like he just showed his wife how much he truly loves her. And he actually feels that his wife happens to be his queen, his African queen. Ladies and gentlemen, you're surprised for tonight to sing for the bride and groom. A round of applause for the one, the only, one of the biggest exports we have in Africa right now. A round of applause for Two Face in Tibia. Yes, sir. Honestly, I'm singing about the old black guy. This one is going out to all the Africans in the building, man. I see all of you. Just like the sun, I took the night of my life. And the only one I ever see with a smile so bright. It's rare. This is the first time that I'm going to be anchoring any event. Talk less of a wedding reception in the in the states and i must say i give mr anderson and his wife a certain level of respect because i'm not saying that i'm that hard to get but when you consider the flights the accommodation and the fee the performance fee i look at that i go like do you really want to use me for your event can you just do have a normal event you know just and the guy said no right I want it to be memorable, and I'm doing it for my wife and my family. And that's love right there. I, mean, I think he deserves a better round of applause. This man, he didn't only bring me down here, there's a surprise as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you've spotted him already. The very Papa Juan of Bayelsa. Round of applause for Mr. Timaya in the building. 
And also, we know one of the craziest rap artists we have in Nigeria. This guy is blessed with lyrics, with beats, his style. A round of applause for the world famous Nigga Raw is also in the house. Sweet money. Inside this one, he had the sweet palm. For Nigeria, with the sweet beats and the sweet money. American, so I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Man, anyway, it's not good. Uh, you know, there was one party I went for the other day. I tell people most times, uh, although it doesn't happen in uh, America or the UK, right now, what's really right now in Nigeria, if you do a party like this and you invite a lot of good friends, you see people coming to dance with you, you will never know that they have gum under their sole of their shoe. <laughs> you will be dancing with you, you match all the money, you match like $2,000 of Guasa, you put inside car. But glue all your money. After the party, we say how much we can. We say twenty dollars. Say for what? Make some noise for Timaya. Everybody say, Oh, 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 They jolly, they jolly, they jolly. You go see your children, children. I'm telling you that it's not your portion. Hey, long life for prosperity. Everybody, if you believe in your God, can I hear you say, Oh, oh, oh. everybody say. like that in the past if Jesus Christ will come now and perform miracles like that presently trust me it will not go down the way it went down that time as well if he comes to Nigeria to perform a miracle like that turning water to wine you know Nigerians will do it differently imagine Jesus Christ in Nigeria turns water to wine let's start with Lagos state he turns water to wine in Lagos Yoruba people you know they be Yoruba people they know how to how to heal people you know how to sing praises maybe at that party just guys just turn the water to wine Bwah. you see you man ah baba j why should you have a you too much baba j j j j baba j you too much the way you just turn the water to wine ah caribo parola support support Yoruba people do praise Jesus Christ, eh? But the evil man, hmm. let's take, let's assume that Jesus Christ turned the water to wine in one party in either in BC or Umbano. <laughs> you see, evil people, you know, evil people, we don't have time for singing, no. We are into business. And that's one thing we are known for. See, an evil man, when Jesus Christ just turned the water to wine, you see, evil man. Nah, <laughs> Jesus, they could be out here. And now, nah, this thing you are doing, like play, this is a serious business. And now, nah, you can be manufacturing the wine, I'll be, I'll be exporting the wine. We can call it Jesus Christ and Chico the Enterprise. <laughs> Say some more. It's so amazing how you let 
feel your life. I'm so blessed that when I look, you'll be open the door to your heart, but I'll end up.